Hi guys, it's Nunu and I'm here in Discussion 5, Sittenfeld, Oats, and Sex Scenes in Literature, 60 Points. Uh, let's survey this assignment. Um, we have uh, four links right here uh, for you to click on and review. We have a Part 1 and we have a Part 2. Okay, up at the uh, top of the assignment, we have It's All Over Now, Baby Blue. Um, this song inspired Oates' story that you're going to read in this discussion. And I also have another link, Curtis Sittenfeld Reads the Prairie Wife, that you might be interested um, in listening to. Okay, uh, let's click on the timeline. And so our timeline, post part 1 by 11.59 p.m. on Thursday, and post part 2 by 11.59 p.m. on Saturday. Uh, I list Sunday as a due date for all of our assignments for convenience. Canvas lets me list only one due date. Um, but as you know, we usually have two parts in our assignments, and uh, they're due before Sunday. If you think you'll be late in this assignment, just uh, email me here in inbox and let me know what's up, okay? I'm going to click on the back arrow, get back into the assignment, and I'm going to click on our overview, our focus, and read it with you. But I want to remind you to look at our requirements for this discussion and also the discussion rubric, how you will be evaluated. Okay, so clicking on the overview, the focus, um, here it is, the focus in our discussion. Graphic sexual imagery pervades today's literature and other art forms, especially TV and movies. Think Game of Thrones. Uh, is this change necessary and good because our sexuality is such a fundamental part of who we are, but can it be too much of a good thing? Okay, so this is our focus uh, in the discussion, and um, I have questions here for you, one and two. You do not have to number the answers uh, to these questions. Um, question number one requires you to read an article and the necessity of writing sex scenes, William Davidson's 2017 article for The New Yorker. Share your thoughts about what Curtis Sittenfeld contends, especially in this last half of the article. So I have the link to the article here. You just need to click on it uh, for it to come up and it comes up and we see that Curtis Sittenfeld is indeed a female. She is not a male writer. People think that uh, Sittenfeld is a man because of her name, but she's not. Okay, um, so I have the article here, and I have the last half of the article uh, for you to focus on right here to pay special attention to what it is that uh, Sittenfeld contends. Okay, um, let's go ahead and uh, let's look at the second question. Uh, compare the sexual imagery in Curtis Sittenfeld's 2017 short story, The Prairie Wife, and Joyce Carol Oates' 1966 story, Where Are You Going, Where Have You Been? Should Oates have been more graphic like Sittenfeld? Is the sexual imagery too subtle? It's not obvious enough. Okay, so that's a question I want you to consider in conjunction with uh, this article, The Necessity of Writing Sex Scenes. And of course, Sittenfeld's The Prairie Wife is right here. You just need to click on this link to find it, and it's here. And uh, Oates' story is right here in this link. And you just need to click on it for it to come up. Now I should tell you that uh, Where Are You Going, Where Have You Been? This 1966 short story by Joyce Carol Oates is extremely famous. And um, every time Oates wrote after 1966, the quality of her writing was compared to this short story. And some people think she never equaled the writing in the story. Other people think she lived up to it. Um, so I'll be very interested to know what you think about this story. Okay. Um, going back into our assignment, we do have a part two. Ten points, 250 words, one page. And we had a word count up here, too. 750 words, three pages. We have a total of 1,000 words, four pages in this assignment. Uh, part two is uh, the pair evaluations. After you have posted your responses to questions one and two, Respond to two peers postings. Each posting should be a minimum of 125 words, a half page for a total of 250 words, one page. Okay, so when you respond, uh, you're going to compare uh, the other writers in this class, what they think about these stories, uh, their answers to these questions with your own answers and have a discussion with them. And as always, I will be very active in this discussion, chiming in, um, and I look forward to it, uh, to what your ideas are. Okay, if you have any questions or concerns, I'm in inbox. You're never, ever emailing me too much. If anything's unclear, I'm right here. All right, let's have a good week.